So Netflix has recently released one of their... I, I want to say they do about two shows a month. And at the end of July, they came out with a little show called Stranger Things. Now, this is a show set in the... They set in the 1980s, early 1980s, I believe 1983 to be exact. And it's kind of, a, you know, kind of a throwback to the old school sci-fi movies of the 80s. And it really it gives you a very interesting feel. So I'm going to break this down. The first two episodes, I only watched the first two episodes, and those are the only two I'm going to review today. Um, on the writing, the acting, directing, and then I'm going to kind of give you an overall. So this is a show created by the Duffer Brothers, U-F-F-E-R. I don't know if it's Duffer or Duffer. I'm going to go with Duffer. Duffer Brothers, and they wrote and directed this whole show. So it's from these two guys. And so far, so good, brothers. Duffer Brothers. That's awkward. They're not my brother. You're my brother. They're not. Done, done. You think one of these days it'll be the Foley Brothers? Yes, Foley Brothers Brothers direct things. Because. Directing things because we think though, so. That's but, probably uh, how yes. it's gonna go too. Just mm-hmm. things. What? So just a basic synopsis of what's going on in this show. Uh, it kind of centers around several different groups. You have the sheriff of a town, who's kind of uh, burnt out. He's burnt out from life. They they drop hints. He used to be a cop in a big city and moved back to the smaller town where he grew up. And uh, you know he doesn't really care about his job too much because they live in probably the quietest town in America. They said that they hadn't had any real crime for like 40 years or something was the last time somebody really committed a crime. So he's one of the main characters. Then you have these three young boys who are, I want to say maybe 12, 13, 14 at most. Um, And they are the nerdy kids that they, they start the way they introduce these kids is they're playing a big game of Dungeons and Dragons, the old school Dungeons and Dragons with dice and where you write out all the dungeon and everything. And then it also focuses on um, a mother and son who are, uh, let me just tell you, uh, there, there was originally four friends. One of their friends on his way home from this Dungeons and Dragons match is suddenly abducted. Now they kind of show you glimpses of his abduction. You don't quite know what happens though. And so it's pretty much the take, and then the so it's the mother and brother of the abducted kid are, are the third group of main characters. So you pretty much you bounce back and forth between these three group three groups, trying to figure out what happened to Will Byers, uh, that is the the boy who went missing. And there's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of intrigue. There's the scientific laboratory that's not too far from where he was abducted that keeps sending out these guys with uh, machine guns and uh, biohazard suits. So, <laughs> you know, they go looking and it's they pretty have severe. All... Yeah, and so they kind of show these are the guys behind the scenes. There's something going on. They do show you at one point inside the laboratory. There's this, like, I like to call it an evil jelly that's attached to a wall that seems to be breathing. So okay. that was weird. Yeah, so that's the sci-fi. It's definitely, definitely a sci-fi show. Uh, and so that's kind of there. But so let's jump into things. Let's talk about the writing. It's excellent. Uh, these the Duffer Brothers did an amazing job writing this show. Each set of characters feels unique and distinct, and there's plenty of moments where they they blend comedy and not comedy, but maybe a little bit of lightheartedness to this to the story, where there's a lot of dark themes going on. I mean, the abduction of a kid, the mother and uh, her son, mm-hmm. really dealing with uh, you know him being abducted and showing the breakdown of them. Uh, and then, you, you know, you have the cop who's just kind of shocked into this. He's like, what the hell is happening? But it, it's enough of serious tones. Then they lighten it up every now and then. They, they let the kids be a little bit of some comedic relief from time to time. Same with the adults, not so much. The adults they're showing are more serious. The kids have more lighthearted moments. But it's a really good mix. I mean, it, it really does take you from serious to, to lighten it up. If it was too serious... It might be a little more depressing than I'd like. I'm not saying it wouldn't be a good show. It just it wouldn't have the same vibe. But And if it was too funny, I wouldn't take it seriously and probably wouldn't continue watching it. Um, but it just it mixes such a great mixture of light and dark. And it, it feels hmm. like a TV show. It's not like a TV show I've ever seen before so far. Yeah, I, would, yeah, I was going to say from your description, if it had been straight up like, comedy funny with just some weird stuff going on it would sound a lot like it wouldn't appeal as much to me yeah but i was gonna say that it would sound like the the show uh eureka from a few years back which has been done yeah Yeah. that's a little more serialized than this one 
or it's well, that was more episodic. episodic than this one. Yeah. yeah, episodic. This one's more serious. I'm just saying, like, you have the cop that's a bigger time cop in kind of a small area. Yeah. You have various groups of smart people doing things, whatever. And if it was a comedy, it would it would have that same vibe. But it sounds like they're kind of going towards yeah, they mix something it else. very well. They mix it very well, and that is helped by the acting. Uh, all the people who play their roles in this play it very very well the cop you really feel like he's disgruntled and there's probably something bad that's happened they've alluded to some bad things that have happened in his past but you can really kind of feel that pain coming out of the screen from him uh the mother you can just feel her heartache and and everything that torment that's going through her while she's worried about her missing child and then you have the kids who yeah they're very very serious about finding their friend but as kids are, you can't take things as emotionally serious as adults would. And it, it's just it, all pa- three faucets of this show. Just it, it feels you feel it coming out of not only the writing, but the acting, the way the lines are delivered, the directing of it. Yeah, well, that's next. But uh, the, <laughs> the actors are done very well and also bleed that into directing. And that's because the actors seem to be put in the perfect positions almost every single time. It, it, you know, it's like, OK, this is how to deliver this line you guys gotta this is the set this is i mean everything feels just perfect i mean it really feels like you're back in 1983 even the intro just they 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 give you some of the old 80s school graphics of red letters you know coming through in the the song just feels like 80s sci-fi movie Hmm. so the acting is amazing the directing it's just hand in hand so it's just everything part of this the production of this show is, is spectacular i mean it really what else would we expect out of Netflix original series nowadays? Nothing less. I mean, they just, I don't, I don't know if they can make bad TV over on Netflix. So keep on doing what you're doing, Netflix and keep these Duffer brothers employed because they do good stuff too. And that'll just lead me to my overall synopsis of the entire show. Uh, If I had to rate the first two episodes, I'd give them a 4.5 out of five. That is because it's spectacular. I watched the first two episodes the other night with a buddy of mine and I didn't want to stop. I mm. really wanted to just keep watching and watching and watching. Almost not go to sleep and just keep watching. It took almost every fiber of my being to pull myself away from the show because it was that entertaining. I just I wanted to see the characters progress. I wanted to see what new joke one of the kids were going to make. I wanted to see, you know, what's going to freak out the mother next. You know, it, everything just went so perfectly and smoothly for the first two episodes. There were a couple points where it felt like they were it was dragging just a little bit, but then later on in the show, you understood why, because they were just setting up. I mean, it was just setting up more to, of the characters so that you could really feel the emotions coming from these characters. And I just want to say, I salute you, Netflix, for putting this out, because this is a unique show. It's not something we've seen on Netflix. Like, this is the first time I've seen a show like this on Netflix uh, for the... Yeah, well, I mean, I guess the superhero stuff is kind of sci-fi fantasy type stuff. But this is the first, like, real deal, you know, genre fil- flick, uh, genre show that I've seen on Netflix. Um, uh, maybe I'm wrong there. I'd have to think about that. But I'm just going to say it's spectacular, 4.5 out of 5. If you have not watched it, go watch it. Brendan, you have my Netflix password. You should watch it as well. This actually sounds like one that I, I do want to watch, and I have you been should. telling people I am looking for a new show to watch now that I've finished. Oh, you found it. Yeah, because I because I finished the other shows that I had been watching for a little while, and I've been like, eh, what am I going to watch? I've been watching like episode here and there of stuff, but mm-hmm. nothing's really caught on yet. So this might be and it. And once you get through the first thirty minutes of the first episode, you won't want to turn it off. I guarantee that. I guarantee it. It just it's addictive. But See, that's the kind of show I like. So yeah. And then and then I'm done by the the next week, and then I have to look for something else. But mm-hmm. still, that good is- times. That is that is the <laughs> the struggle of instant streaming and having it all in front of you. you. Go through it too fast. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Have you watched the show? Do you like it as much as I do? Do you not like it as much as I do? Please no spoilers in the comments. If anybody ever left comments, but please no spoilers. I am still going through the show. Um, so yeah, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Oh, good way is getting a hold. Of you.